Hey, this is Toby. Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we continue to code our pattern recognition EA for MetaTrader 5. So if you have not seen the first or previous videos, I've linked the first part of this little coding series up here. So you can go watch it and let's go to Visual Studio Code and we continue to code this EA here. We are in our pattern recognition EA file and we left off here in the on tick. And now the next step is to check if the correlation is high enough and yeah, draw maybe a mark on the chart and um, create a order. So let's write a comment here, um, check correlation and pattern size. So here we write a simple if statement and we check, we have the correlation here in our correl uh, variable and this has to be greater than our input minimum correlation. Um, or as I said in one of the previous videos, we also want to um, create an order if the pattern and the close prices are anti-correlated. So we also want to go into this if statement. I will add another bracket here. If the correlation is less than the negative input um, min correlation this. So for example, the correlation is minus um, 0 0.9. And then in this case, we also want to create a order, basically switch everything around, create the opposite order. Okay. And we also want to check the size, of course. So the pattern size here in percent, uh, the value we calculated here um, has to be greater or equal to our input min um, size percent. Okay, in this case, we open the body here. And in here, maybe first of all, we want to draw a vertical line. If we found a pattern that matches our criteria. So let's write or call a function called draw mark. And yeah, after this, we will also then create a order, but let's first of all, write this function draw mark. So I will go down into our custom function section and we do this maybe here after the draw pattern function, because this will be pretty similar. So let's write a comment here, draw a vertical or draw a mark on the chart and here of type void draw mark, no parameters, open the body. Okay. Let's also hit compile here. Make sure you don't have any mistakes. Okay. So first of all here, we want to write another comment, um, draw vertical line. And here we, first of all, set a name for the vertical line. So a string parameter called name, and we set this to mark. And we want multiple um, vertical lines. So we need unique names. So I will just add the current or time to string here, the current time, time current to this name. Like this and now object create and the null for the chart ID, the name of variable and object type object vline sub window zero, the current or the main chart window, um, time and price. Now time is the time current, so time current. And for a vertical line, we don't need a price per meter. We just um, set this to zero like this. And now we also change maybe the color. So object set integer null the name object property color let's set this to blue and yeah i think that's it for the vertical line so let's hit compile here i will compile using the script so we can test it now in the strategy tester okay so let's switch to the meta 5 platform i have the strategy tester right here um, 
yeah, select the EA symbol, just a few weeks here, visual mode, and I will use the default inputs. And maybe yeah, I will lower the threshold for the correlation. Let's say 0 0.5 and the size also to 50%. Okay, let's start this test. Um, let's see if we have a high enough correlation, then we should draw the line. So I will just jump bar after bar with F F12. Um, okay. Right here, we have a correlation of 0 0.54 and the size is also 90% of the search pattern. So we can see the pattern here in blue with the blue dots and we can see overall, okay, there is a correlation. We have a strong up bar and then we are going sideways pretty much. Um, so we draw here this vertical line to mark this as a pattern of interest basically. And now the next step would be to, yeah, set a sell stop or buy limit um, here in percentage of the pattern. Now let's just see if we get another one. Okay, there was another one here and here. Yeah, of course, this is the search pattern. So it's a correlation of one. Yeah. Okay, so this is working. Uh, we draw a mark so we can see um, after we did a visual test where we um, met the criteria basically. Okay, so let's close this tester window again, go back to Visual Studio Code. And what we also maybe want to do here in this draw mark function is to yeah, draw the actual pattern um, over the candles. So let's see the next step. Okay, for this, let's write a comment, uh, draw pattern. And we can now copy this from the draw pattern function here. Um, actually, yeah, the entire for loop here. So again, we loop from zero to our pattern bars. Uh, we create a name and this time we need a unique name because we want to have this pattern multiple times on a chart. Um, so here after the string pattern bar, I will just add um, again time to string and I will use the time current function to get the current time. And then we add another or counter variable here in the end. Okay, now here, object create, um, everything can stay the same, but maybe also what we want to do is to switch the pattern and basically mir mirror the pattern for like cell trades. Um, so let's do this. So for this, we need a parameter here for the straw mark function. I will just use a Boolean parameter by underscore cell. So if this is true, this means buy, which is the default mode and false sell, we want to switch the pattern around. Um, yeah, let's also add this parameter where we call the draw mark function. Um, that's in on tick here. And here we just check with this condition, like this returns true or false. Um, so we know if it's a highly correlated pattern or if the pattern is highly anti-correlated. Okay, let's go back and we need to edit a few things here. So we should be able to compile. Let's hit compile without any mistakes. Okay, so if the buy sell parameter here is true, we want to draw our normal pattern. So buy underscore sell question mark is true. We use this line here and else we have to 
mirror the pattern basically. And for this, maybe it's easier to understand if I write this here, this offset, I just cut this, create a new variable here, double called offset, paste this here, um, make sure to add the bracket here. So pattern minus close is our offset. And now we can use it here. Like this. Else we basically write the same stuff here. But we need to add so plus two times the, the pattern uh, minus the offset. Yeah, I think we also have to add the close price here two times multiplied and in brackets here again the close the previous close now this is a little bit complicated uh, so close and here we subtract put this in brackets here pattern minus offset okay so this plus two times and now we are missing a bracket here like this um, and we need to add some brackets here because we want to multiply this whole thing here so close and another bracket here in the end uh, yeah this is a little bit complicated um, but this should do it let's hit compile and the only way to know is of course to test it so let's go to the stretch tester and test if we can see the patterns and if we mirror the pattern for a short trade, basically. Okay, so here we are in the stretch tester. Again, the same settings, uh, default inputs. Oh, let's yeah, keep this at 0 0.5. So we actually do get some um, patterns. Uh, let's start. And let's wait for the first vertical line. Okay, here's our first match. Um, of course, now we exactly overlay this, but if I continue here, we should see there's the pattern um, here on the chart. And now we have uh, two patterns here because we immediately got another match here on the next few bars. Um, let's continue and wait for one standalone pattern like this. And we can also see this one here is for the sell side. So it's mirrored. So we have the strong down move here instead of the strong up move um, with our normal pattern. So it's reversed basically. Okay, that looks fine. Um, let's see here. This is of course our original pattern. Here we got two more. Here again, a mirrored pattern, so with a down move, and then sideways, and not up and sideways. Okay, looks fine. Um, let's close this. Let's go to Visual Studio Code again. Okay, so that's it for this function. Let me just delete this line here. Um, yeah, let's go to the on tick again. Here, and the next step is really to create some orders to take some trades. Okay, so let's call another function called place order. This will have two parameters, this function. Um, first of all, a Boolean parameter, again for buy sell to yeah, specify if it's a normal pattern or a reverse pattern. We use this condition here to set this to true or false. And the next parameter will be our close array. So just close array like this. Okay, and let's create this function here, cl uh, place order all the way in the end here of type void, place order 
a boolean parameter by cell and our array of type double close array with empty squared brackets and of course we need to pass this array by reference uh, so asterisk here um, a n sign close array okay now we should be able to compile without any mistakes okay and the first step in here is to calculate the stop loss and take profit so let's add a comment here calculate stop loss and take profit and of course we also need to set the um, pending order price maybe we add this here set pending order price calculate stop loss and take profit okay uh, let's hit compile again i think we'll do this in the next part to write this function to place some orders and then we can actually test it and get our first trades and if you want to learn mcore 5 from the ground up make sure to check out my website with my programming courses on mcore 5 this will save you a lot of time and i wish you a great week good trades and i will see you in the next video bye bye